Good day, Grade Tens. In this lesson, we're still revising mat and material, and we're looking at mixtures. Now, what is a mixture? A mixture is a combination of two or more substances, but these substances have not been chemically combined, and therefore they maintain their physical properties. So this means that we can actually separate them by physical means. And what do I mean by that? I mean that this here is a mixture. This bunch of sweets is a mixture because I could actually pick out with my fingers the different types of sweets. So that is a mixture. Now let's look at a sand and iron mixture. Here we have got a mixture of sand with some iron filings in it. And what we can do is because iron filings are magnetic, we can actually use a magnet to remove the iron filings. So here we've got a magnet and it's in place in a plastic bag so the iron filings don't stick to the magnet itself. And as you can see, as you run the sand, the magnet along it. You can pick up some of the iron filings. Right, so that's what we're doing here. Okay, and now we are separating off those iron filings from the magnet. Okay, and you will see that there's still some sand mixed up into that, but we can also, wow, look at all those iron filings that you didn't know in the, was in the sand. So we can pick up lots and lots, and this is a physical means. It means we don't need, we're separating by physical means, we're not heating it up, we're not cooling it, we're not dissolving anything, we're just separating it out. Obviously, you can see that there's still lots and lots of sand mixed with the iron filings, but what we could do is maybe do it again. So we could, for example, put the magnet again over this mixture and separate it out even further. So let's see what happens. There we go. And look how much better that looks already. And now these ma magnetic iron filings, you can see much cleaner. So that is one way that we could separate out a mixture using magnetic and using natural means. In other words, using physical means, sorry. There are also two types of mixtures, there's heterogeneous and homogeneous. Heterogeneous means that they are in different phases, in other words, solid and liquid, or in this case again, solid and liquid, whereas a homogeneous mixture is something that's all in the same phase. So for example, your salad dressing is usually something that's dissolved into something else, or for example, when your coffee has got your coffee granules are dissolved into the hot water with some sugar, that is a homogeneous mixture. Right, great tens, that is all our mixtures for today. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.